Welcome back guys and girls, this is of course the tutorials and this is part 2 of our video tutorial on how to make our own website banner. Now last time we got this far here, we got our lovely um, banner here with our navigation bar. We have a logo, some text and a little subscribe button. So today we're going to be looking at how to slice that image up so that we can therefore import it into Dreamweaver and make links out of it and whatever and do whatever you want with it basically. So first off we want to go to our slice tool, now yours might be disguised as the crop tool but you just want to hover over that and you'll get your slice tool. We're just going to zoom in there a little bit and we're just going to get slicing straight away. Now this is very very basic, all you have to do is just click and drag from each corner. But you have to make sure that you're neat and tidy, you don't want to pass out anything else, you need every picture as itself. Double left click on the slice when you're done and rename it. So for example we're going to click and drag from the top left corner here until maybe just before the subscribe button we're gonna let go and we're gonna double left click and we're gonna call this one uh, Z tutorials text now you do not want to get anything else other than the text like for example this subscribe button here you do not want to get anything other than the subscribe button because it'll mess up your CSS when you're going into importing into Dreamweaver so we'll get this free HD tutorials here and we let go and we'll just see how much we get mm, about there will do when you're happy with it hover over to wherever make sure you're nice and neat and tidy and as you can see it's over the yellow a little bit and you do not want that so you just want to grab the little holder there and pull it upwards and you're going to rename this by double left clicking on it and we're going to call it free HD tutorials Make sure you name it because when you import it into Dreamweaver it's just going to be much easier and easier to find. As you can see we were not neat there, there's a big gap so we just want to click and drag that off to the side so that the other slice and that slice are on top of each other pretty much. Now we're going to get the subscribe button and you want to make sure not to go into the about and contact here. When you're happy with it, double left click and we're going to name this one subscribe. It's as simple as this, you just do it for each one. For the blanks, I'm just going to simply name them blanks. Yeah, it's original, but whatever. We're just going to name it blanks. Uh, blank 1, maybe. And I'm just going to call it blank 1, blank 2, blank 3, because I know when I go into Dreamweaver that I'm going to work from left to right and then backwards from right to left so that I won't get lost and I'll know where each blank is. It's very, very easy. You'll get used to it. Soon you'll be all be very, very good and very, very professional at doing it. So we're just going to get this contact button, make sure you're nice and neat once again. Zoom in a little bit more if you do not think you're neat because it is very very important to keep it tidy. So when you're happy with that, double left click and name it. Keep getting the blanks and keep going. Blank number, I think I'm on blank 3. On the about button, nicely down there drag double left click and name it the about down here you want to name this one blank so we're just going to click from the top left corner always click and drag from the top corner whatever corner you left off in so for example if you left off in the top left corner you just want to make sure that you drag from the top left corner I think I named that one blank didn't I yes so I, I left off at the top left corner there so I'm going to click and drag from the top left corner and double left click and go to photo and almost done guys nearly there sorry if this is taking a bit longer than it should but we're nearly done blank 6 our video button now of course when we import this into Dreamweaver when you click on video obviously it'll go to a new page for you it's not just going to be like a banner with just a plain JPEG that you could import. That's the whole right reason we're slicing it is so you can have links on those slices. So basically this home slice here when someone clicks on it they'll go to home instead of if you were to just import a JPEG when you just click on it it'll click on it as one image if you get what I mean it'll be one whole image. So that's nicely sliced up there you can make sure you have every single slice by going over from 1 to 15 or 16 whatever how many slices you have. Now you just want to go to file and save for web and devices. Now I recommend to spend time on this part by clicking on each slice and on the drop down menu 
select whichever one has less K so for example this one PNG has less K it's a smaller image size so we're going to name this one actually JPEG is a smaller image size so we're going to call that one JPEG then go to the next slice and look for which one is smaller but I'm not going to go through that today just for speeding up purposes but basically all you need to do is see I'll go to the next slice here now and on this drop down menu I'll pick whichever one is suited so now we just want to click save on that and of course on the drop down menu put HTML and images now you want to make an own folder you have to make sure that you're making a folder for Dreamweaver so we're going to put it into our own folder here and we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this one slices so you'd be calling this my website now inside your website folder you're going to have an images folder and inside that images folder you're going to put in the banner so you're going to have the banner you're going to rename it and there you go just click save and in Dreamweaver just close that window down there we don't need that we're gonna create a new document now as you can see I don't have the site made so we're gonna go to site new site but first I'm just gonna open up that banner so you guys can see it so mine's inside slicing inside the images folder and the banner now the banner has its own images folder as well by default that's how it's sliced up and as you can see when you click around you can get it now you want to go to the corner and when you get the two brackets like that you want to click on it hop into the code view and just copy it now this isn't scary we're not going to work with code at the moment we're just going to hop into the code view and copy it so basically all we're doing is selecting the whole image copying it press Control n make a new html document and you'll get a blank page like this now inside the two body tags we're not going to make any divs or anything i'm going to be working on that in the next tutorial you just want to paste that in, in between the body tags now make sure it is in between the body tags but as you can see all the images are blank now that's because we need to link the images so first off we're going to make our new site so we're going to go to site new site and we're going to call it our slicing under the local info we're just going to have our local root folder and that's going to be inside the slicing and wherever your one's going to be mine's inside the images here and just click OK so now when I drop down these menus we will have the images of the banner so if I click on the left side we know that was where our logo was but if we go around to CRC SRC sorry it's gonna tell us that it's called logo so basically we're just gonna click and drag with this point to file thing here and as you can see this one's named Z tutorials text so we're just gonna look for that in our images folder Z tutorials text when you link all these up you'll get very fast at it so the subscribe button easy this one is called HD tutorials so we're just gonna go to free HD tutorials this is a blank and it's blank one so we're just gonna search for the one we named blank one uh, sorry about that my battery's about to go that's not a good sign always and I made a mistake so we're gonna undo that by pressing control Z and we're gonna do that again and there we go click and drag this off I'm gonna leave you guys here and leave you do all this yourself if you want I'm kinda of running out of time but basically that's all you need to do so click and drag to it and whatever you want now in the next tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make a full website I plan on showing you how to put this into divs and um, showing you some basic HTML then some CSS and bring you along with me so we'll all learn together it's gonna to be very easy so make sure you subscribe for that if you did like this tutorial leave me a comment below tell me what you thought if you have any video ideas let me know too but until the next tutorial guys we're just gonna finish up this first and uh, we're nearly running out of time so we need to hurry uh, this one is video and blank and home oh I made a mistake there press ctrl Z and click and drag the home button so that's all we got time for guys it's as simple as that our image was sliced up put into Dreamweaver if you didn't see the other tutorial you need to go back and watch it otherwise you will be completely lost check out the description for all the details and until the next tutorial keep on learning